This is comp cams, um, part number 31-1000. This is the uh, Ford Hydraulic Roller Lifter Kit, uh, the retrofit for 289, just a 400M. Uh, what do you get in the box? You get the spider tray, you get the two mounting bolts, and the dog bones. These are specifically for uh, these retrofit roller lifters, part number 851-16. These are shorter than the standard roller lifter so they don't pop out of the bore. According to the uh, instructions, you lay the tray in the valley. Uh, you're supposed to put your lifters in place and dog bones on there, I guess just for a few, I mean, you don't need to do it for all of them. And then make sure that tray is centered in between the boards and then also centered left and right. So I've already marked it where I want it and taken the cam back out because I don't want the cam in there when I'm drilling, but I need to drill a hole here and a hole over here. And I've already marked that one. Underneath, I have some uh, casting protrusions on there. So you can see I've uh, filed it down a little bit just to get it flat on top. So my hole wants to go right there. That's where, that's where I want to drill. It's a quarter 20 hole. And you only want to drill 3 eighths of an inch deep. No deeper than that. Because you run the risk of um, going into the cam bearing. I don't know why they decided to put the cam bearing or drill the hole right where the cam bearing is. They could have drilled the hole over here and there's nothing there underneath. Uh, you can see, but that's what Ford did. Uh, I need to drill the hole on this one right there. And again, there's this casting protrusion sticking up. So I'm gonna file this off so that it's flat. I don't want this gap under there when I try to tighten that bolt down. Okay, I'm done drilling my um, my pilot holes. I just used a small bit. I don't know, it's pretty tiny. Not the smallest because I didn't want to snap off, but it's smaller than an eighth of an inch. Doesn't really matter. And uh, I know it looks like I'm a little off center. Um, this, you know, side to side like this, or top to bottom, whatever. But it's the casting that's not really in the center. And I'm going off of this hole that was drilled in there, and I would imagine that's dead center. So that's what Ford put there. Uh, what I'd use for a stop, uh, I measured my steel roller and it's an inch wide. And so I just let the drill bit extend um, one and three eighths. And then when I was drilling, I just held this next to it like that. So it's just barely touching and then I can only go three eighths of an inch deep. I don't have to worry about screwing it up. Okay, I've finished the first hole. I uh, can't tell you how nerve-wracking this is, drilling into your engine block when you know the cam bearing is right below there. So I'm pretty sure I have a good depth for it there. Let's measure that. I'm gonna measure to the edge of the hole because that's where the threads are gonna be. Okay, it's kind of tough one-handed. And I get 3.72. I'm gonna stick it right there. I'm not gonna try deepen, drilling 3 thousandths of an inch. All right, next hole. All right, I finished the other hole. And as you can see, it's 0 0.380 inches deep, which should be good. I need a 0.375. So the next step, I thought that was bad, drilling into your engine block, but now I gotta tap the hole. So I have a basic tap set, here's a quarter 20. As you can see, that's a taper tap, uh, and it's not gonna take, it's not gonna tap the bottom of the hole. So I had to buy another set, just quarter 20, so it comes with a, a taper, I think that's called a plug, and then a bottom tap. Bottom tap doesn't quite go to the bottom of the hole, but it goes pretty darn close. You gotta have some room for cutting. So hopefully that's deep enough. That's what they say to use, so that's what I'm using.
Let's do it. Okay, I've got my tap started. I'm trying to keep it at as perpendicular as possible. It is very hard starting a brand new uh, tap because there's nothing to, to guide it. So it's probably going to bottom out really fast because a lot of that, you know, a lot of the cutting threads are, are far away from the tip. So I'm just going really slow. We're turning at a time. Back up. Got some oil on there. I'm just trying to be very cautious so I can feel it when it bottoms because as soon as it bottoms, I want to stop. And I might be there. I think I might be there. So let's see uh, if we can tell how far in we were. It didn't cut very much at all. But you can see how very little of it is actually cutting. So this is the taper the taper tap. Let's move on to the plug tap. Okay, here's the two taps. Uh, the button on the bottom is the taper tap. Uh, the taper tap and the one on the top is the plug tap. You can see the, the cutting threads go much farther down the shank. So let's uh, let's try that out. I'm just gonna try to feed this in here nice and smooth. I want to be back in those same threads. Probably shouldn't be doing it one-handed, but I can feel it. I can feel it's in the threads now, so it's supporting itself. As soon as I start to feel it cut, I'm going to start doing my back and forth motion. Now I can feel it. Oh, it feels really good, nice and smooth. Should be getting pretty close to the bottom. I think that might be it. Yeah, I don't want to push it past there. Remember, I'm only going three eighths of an inch deep, so. so. I don't know if you can tell how far deep I was going. Maybe three eighths looks pretty good. All right, next tap. Okay, here's the the bottom tap. You can see how far down the threads go. There's still a little bit of a a portion that doesn't have threads on it so that it, it guides itself. So let's give it a go. Again, I'm just trying to put very little pressure on it as it's going in. And I can feel it. It's in the threads right there. See, it screws in, screws in nice and easy to let itself. So, and then pretty soon it's going to start cutting. I think that might be it. I think that's it right there. I can get a look at how much of the threads are exposed, and we should have like a, uh, a mark on there where the, the cutting bits are on it, so we can get an idea of how far down it went. So, hopefully that's three eighths of an inch. So I'm going to take one of the screws and screw it in there and see how far down it goes. It doesn't have to go all the way because I'm I'm going to put that spider in between it, so let's check that out. Uh, before I run that bolt in there, I want to clean all the, the metal bits out of there. I stuck my little magnetic tool in there, and you can see uh, there's a lot of junk in there. Uh, ComCams recommends using a Q-tip uh, with some grease on it, so I'll get as much out as I can using this magnet, and then I'll do what they recommend with the Q-tip and the grease before I run that bolt in there. Alright, I cleaned out the hole. Um, it's kind of hard to get a Q-tip in this little hole. It's pretty small, so I'm glad I got all that. Use the magnet to get most of those filings out of there. Can't really get the blade under there, so I, th I think it's down. I think it's touching, touching the block and not uh, bottoming it out in the hole. So we're good. One more. All right, I finished tapping the other hole. And I cleaned it out. It's just got some grease and fuzz from the, the Q-tip in there. So let's see what happens here. We put this in. So, so far, so good.
Okay, I think that's a success. You can see the uh, the spiders are going underneath here. They're, they're spring loaded, so they'll hold them in place. That's good. All right, let's see what goes next. <laughs>